Yeah, I, I'm not very good at just doing one thing or putting all my eggs in one basket. And I tend to pursue what feels good and right. Um, and I don't know, just training every day and just living to train wasn't enough in life for me. I wanted to like develop business, keep becoming educated, like finish my degree, then do further qualifications. There's always, I don't know, uh, evolution within life and as in, and within being a human. And I've never just been good at just only evolving in one way. So it, it wasn't even a question. It was just, I can still train four hours a day, but I can still run a business and maybe still fly to three different countries in one month to do different photo shoots. If I work out my diary and my programming and my recovery, and because, like I said, I've only ever worked for myself, I could uh, design my life or design my diary or design my day, design my week. And I just did that for you, 10 years. I think what you, what you did was kept the door open for opportunities. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that's, that was key because if you close the door off and just focus on just that one thing and everything is, is all about that, you know, sometimes you look back and go, that opportunity presented itself and I could have done it and it's too late and someone else is now doing it. So it was keeping that, maintaining that open door that if opportunity presented itself, you were able to have a go at it. Uh, and I think that's the, the, the key thing in kind of where we are now and, you know, being able to do all the things that we've done and continually so you know once we've achieved something whether it's modeling or um you know uh, acting or whatever it is there's always something else and I, that's where an athlete you know they never you know to come back to what you said earlier an, an athlete never fully embrace the success because they're come they're looking okay well i've done that now what's the next thing yeah you know, it's like, how can I improve or how can I make that better? So, you know, and that's that's really the fuel that you need to keep going as opposed to, OK, I've done all of that now. I'm just going to sit back and pop now. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we've had some beautiful moments where all of our skills and worlds have collided. Um, for instance, like with gladiators, our years of training as athletes and then having done some acting work and TV work all came together yeah, yeah. Um, to, to bring us that gig as gladiators. Mm -hmm. Or I had a, a job where I had to hurdle um, for the Olympics for 2012 and was on like buses and billboards around London and around the country. And it took me back to when I was a kid and I used to hurdle the rabbit hutches in my garden um so there's, there's lots of little things that have happened like wonder woman recently uh, we were both the trainers for the amazons and then i trained Kristen as cheetah and all of our experience so as sports scientists trainers for the last what is it 30 years between mm -hmm. us um and then our experience as an athlete and teaching people to run properly and improve their movement patterns and your experience as an injury rehabilitator mm -hmm. all came together for that job. So I, I think I don't, the world or our worlds are very connected um, and all the pieces come together. Uh, that, and, and again, I, I find that really remarkable because, it, you know, to see, you know, certainly a, a couple that, that, that have this, you know, divergence of everything coming together. And, and ultimately you've got this so much crossover with what you do and your, your experience and your background and all these things you've almost collaborated on and done together. And you both yeah. very similar channels, right? You know, you both, you know, athletics and then then acting and, and all these different things. And it seems like there's this synergy between you that probably, you know, or maybe wasn't planned out to start with, but was just kind of the route that you both wanted to go on, which, which is like rare. It's, it, you I, know, know. I really like the journey um, and I really like you being on the journeys with me. Like we tend to try and share with each other because it tends to be better when we're together. Yeah. 
And some things are separate, like James Bond was Wayne's first film on Skyfall, and you've had lots of experiences and incredible moments in life that have been completely separate. Yeah, but we seem good. to bring each other on the journey when but we the, can. But this is the thing, it's, it's constantly evolving and growing together. You know, that's what it is. And um, I think in, in, with a relationship, if you have one person that wants to grow and wants to succeed and the other person is not comfortable with it because of fear or whatever it may, then that, that creates a problem. But I think, not I think, but with both of us, we're constantly, okay, you know, I know, I know for me sometimes an, an example is like, I know, you know, if I do an audition, it's, it's not in my, I can do my best and present it and they might go, okay, Wayne is not for me. I'm going to go with this guy. And I get it because some some actors, including myself, would just wallow. <laughs> Do <laughs> you know, wallow sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and Jenny's like, look, it's fine. It's not in your control. So let's go on to the next one. So to have that backup and that support to actually give you a little slap by saying, it's not about that, and the problem isn't you. You've done your best, and it was good. It's just that either someone's slightly better, and there's always going to be someone better, um, or it, you know, as, as one feedback was, it's you were good, but it was just down to character choice that that person just looked differently to uh, and probably fitted more what they wanted. So to have that partner with you, that's growing with you and evolving with you it, it's it's a wonderful thing because then the, the there is no boundaries then you know or, or limit as to what you can achieve yeah and since we have not been athletes i think we've trusted in the process much more so like the right things come to us at the right time and these weird parallels or connections all matrix together to create some incredible experiences and opportunities in our life. Whereas when we were athletes, it was like you forced it and you like had a program and you were like yeah, push, a push, 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 push. But since we retired, it's like, oh, okay, now nah, it just comes. Mm. I wish I'd sort of known that more in my 20s.